found an outlet for my passion for music, DJing. Six years and a lot of hard work later, DJing brought me to New York for the Future Music Moguls program during the spring of my sophomore year. Every Saturday, I sat in a classroom full of unknown high school artists with talent, passion, and a unique perspective on the world. They create music with a different sound and a different message than the music coming out of radio pop today. Seeing these artists gave me inspiration. I changed my focus. I wanted to help unknown artists get their voices heard, but figuring out how was the challenge. Then it hit me, and Next Wave was born. As FMM wrapped up, I started doing artist interviews, asking young artists about their passion, the message they wanted to share, how they balance school and music, questions to help them become more relatable to their audience. Then, I started to recruit my peers to help write concert reviews and helpful tips on how to get started in the industry, because I was meeting so many amazing people who didn't have the resources or knowledge to get their music out. I quickly realized that I did not just want to write about emerging talent, but I wanted to help them become an artist. By helping them create music authentic to themselves and establish a clear brand, I was able to help them find and connect with their audience. As my passion grew and my interest changed, Next Wave evolved. It moved from a blog to a management company, and it was renamed Next Wave Music Group. The more I collaborated with teenage artists, I realized they were not getting the opportunities to perform live. Live performances create a connection with the audience like no other. The music industry is based on connection between artists and audience, creator and consumer, and the highest level of that connection is face-to-face. The summer after my sophomore year, I was given the opportunity by my teachers at FMM to put together an artist showcase at the bitter end. I fell in love with the process of putting together the show, so much so that the next year I created Next Wave Summer, a concert series taking place in both New York and DC. We held three shows over the course of a month, a benefit concert for gun control and two acoustic shows. Our benefit concert was called Next Fest. We partnered with a student activism group and had a base in DC with a combination of DC and New York based artists performing. Soundwave, the acoustic series, had one show in New York and another in DC, both with artists local to the venues. Putting together the series was a hard process, but it was a team effort. Over the course of the last year and a half, Next Wave grew from just me with an idea to a team of 10 people across seven states. From managing social media to looking for venues and artists, building a team around me for Next Wave has been extremely helpful and a learning experience. As I put together the shows, I wanted to keep a record of my adventures in music. From finding venues, to building the website, to equipment setup, here is a glimpse into the process. Okay, so today is Sunday, March 24th. Um, this is our first video. It is currently April 1st, but not for long. It is 2.30 in the morning on Monday, April 22nd. Um, about three months away from the potential date. Not a bad. 